don't look alike. We might a little bit. I always fancy her because she was a big bonded um, woman and she was beautiful. You know what I mean? And um, a lot of people shunned against her in that time because she would throw her body around. She would be so into the gospel, but they looked at it, looked down on her about that. But that was just her feeling it. And because she was a big curvace curvaceous woman, you know what I mean? They looked at it a little different, you know what I mean? But we can't help it when you're thick, you know what I mean? You got to watch out. When I walk through, <laughs> you got to move out my way because these hips will knock your ass over, okay? <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome back to Ketolicious Nest. Today, y'all, we got burgers and onion rings. Let's say our grace and get into this mukbang. Thank you, Lord, for this meal that I have prepared. Thank you for everything you're doing in my life and bringing in my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. It seems like every time I come on, my furnace want to come on, but I don't care, y'all. I'm so hungry. Y'all probably see me sweating like a fat rat. <laughs> I am hot in this kitchen, and uh, it's time to eat. So what we got is... Some um, organic ground beef burgers with some bacon on it, tomatoes, red onions, lettuce. And these rolls, I'm going to put her name here. They, um, I think her Instagram is no nutritionist. Um, she's actually my keto coach, like best friend or something. But she has a whole line of different things that she makes strict keto that you can order. And my friend Tamika gave me these buns and I've been wanting to try them. So I can't wait to taste them. These onion rings, Tamika and my other Bray and Washar, I think that's her name on Instagram. They sent me the onion rings with the, uh, with the cheese. So I didn't have the donut one, you know, the, um, cellophane, not cellophane, but the silicone, um, um, uh, what is it called? The Y'all know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> the silicone thing to make your donuts in. So I didn't have that one, but I had one that had hearts on it. So this is what it is. This how they came out, y'all. These are my onion rings made like hearts. But as I made this, do y'all know what I thought about that I can make with that? That I've been missing? <laughs> what you think? Put it down in the comments and I'll tell you. But we're about to get into this, y'all. And I need to get a thumbnail. Let me let y'all get a close-up real quick. Of these burgers. Yes. This sucker is big. I don't even know. <laughs> and it's a little bun. But, yeah, this a big old sandwich. Let me get a thumbnail. With one of these two, maybe. So yeah, so y'all, let's go. I gotta put this down because y'all know this about to be messy. <clears throat> yes, I'm excited and I'm hungry. This is my first meal of the day. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bite this though. <laughs> Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Wow. Mmm. 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 I know my mouth looks messy. Messy. But when I tell y'all, <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Man. Mm. 
Real cheesy. Can't even talk. <laughs> These burgers are so juicy. Cook perfectly. And my air fryer. That's the air fryer that my kids bought me for Christmas when I tell y'all. Top notch, love it. I didn't cook any of this on the stove, none of it. I know it's very rare that I'm speechless. <laughs> mm. I tell you. That burger is cooked to perfection. Seasoning. Texture. A1. stuff <clears throat> but I'm still gonna work on this burger I got sugar free mayonnaise on here mustard woo y'all yeah. <laughs> I've been working Think about this right here. So these onion rings, it's a lot of cheese. So it's okay. But what I was thinking I could make was a potato skin without the potato. Mm -hmm. So that's what it need. Just some bacon on it. Sour cream, 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably say them and eat that maybe tomorrow for lunch or something. I don't know. I just want this burger. That that's it. <laughs> And the bread is really good. And it's a small bun. It may look big on here, but it's not. So can y'all see? I know my fingers probably look disgusting. But it got sesame on it. Sesame seeds on it. Yeah. And my burger got pepper jack on it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I hope everybody is doing well. It's Wednesday night now, but y'all gonna get this on Thursday. But here in Cleveland, up north, we about to have a really bad um, snowstorm. So anybody that is being affected by that, make sure y'all stay safe. I will be in the house, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. That burger is good. Yeah, here. Yeah. I will be in the house till Saturday. Make sure y'all tune in to my Instagram live Saturday at 11. I will be on No Static Radio and my keto coach will be coming on and I'll be asking her some questions and interviewing her. So if y'all have any questions about keto, um, that you want answered, let me know down in the comments and I will ask her on um, the radio station on Saturday. Woo! I'm so excited. This journey with keto has been really because of her, me watching her on Instagram. So I'm so excited to be interviewing her and just you know, getting some facts, some straight facts about keto, because she's going to give you the straight facts. When I say she's strict, strict keto, she's strict, strict keto. She don't play that dirty keto, little keto. <laughs> she made business, okay? So if you want some, if you have some questions about being strict keto or just keto, period, that you want me to ask her, make sure you leave some comments down um down below so that i can answer those questions so i'm just so excited um to be interviewing her this keto journey is so it's it's not easy all the time you know it seems so easy three years ago when i started and now it's just like it's so hard and i've actually because due to those two cheats that i told you about oh excuse me i actually have not cheated but i weighed myself the other day and i'm back up but I think it was because Tamika made Deja that chocolate cake, y'all. When I tell y'all, it's a keto cake. But I've been eating it every night. And Mel tell you, you cannot be doing no sweets like that. I've been eating it every night with keto ice cream. And it didn't mess me up, okay? <laughs> and our true weigh-in is actually tomorrow on Thursday. So, Lord Jesus.
I was doing so good. The cake that Tamika made was so big. To get it out the refrigerator, I just, this morning, I um, wrapped it up in single pieces and put it in the freezer. <laughs> okay, it's so good. And I know it's expensive, so I didn't want to throw it away. But I had to get it out of my way, okay? <laughs> I had to get it out of my way because it is affecting your girl over here, okay? I'm like, it's keto. I can eat this every night. Mm -mm. Mess me all the way up. So, Mel, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. <laughs> So, I'm going to be happy to be talking to her and getting some information. So, again, Saturday at 11 o'clock, my Instagram live, be there. She won't be coming on until about 12.30. About 12, 12.30. About in between 12, 15, 12, So, yeah. So, you can be a little late. But just make sure you come through. Oh, shoot. Mm, 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 mm. Mm 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 Especially during Black History Month. As y'all can see my shirt, I actually put a clip here because y'all probably can't see it all. What y'all wore this shirt on here before? Mahalia Jackson. Mahalia Jackson. <laughs> Who was a phenomenal singer civil rights activist. Happy Black History Month, y'all. <laughs> yes, I've been black every day of my life. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. But, so every day is Black History Month for me. But, this is the month that it is celebrated throughout the world. So, today I'm representing Mahalia Jackson. Y'all should go look at her documentary. Actually, I was watching it before I even came on here. Just to hear some history of things that I didn't know about her. And they made a comment because she was sick at the end. But just so that y'all know, she's been singing since she was four. She uh, was born in New Orleans, had a phenomenal voice, and a lot of genres and a lot of managers tried to get her to change from gospel to blues because she had that gospel and that blues feel. And back then, gospel wasn't a moneymaker. It wasn't a moneymaker, and people didn't pay attention to it except for the people that were actually in the church. And most of the time at that time, they didn't have money to help her out or buy records or anything like that. So she went singing like into her late 30s without making any money. She really was a businesswoman doing cosmetics with her husband. Um, that's how she made money, actually. But she, they wanted her to sing blues so bad, and she never fell into it. Never did she would tell them no every time. And a lot of gospel people back then did go into the blues just to get money. 
but she never did it because she said um, God and the church is what saved her and gave her joy through the poverty and everything that they went through back then. You know, you could just imagine um, the times back then, you know what I mean? So, but her voice was so powerful and so beautiful. But towards the end of one of the documentaries I watched, you know, they were saying she was sick. She had a tumor and they said sarcoid took over her body. And it shocked me because I've told y'all I have sarcoidosis. And to me, even though me and Mahalia don't look alike, we might a little bit. I always fancy her because she was a big bonded um, woman and she was beautiful. You know what I mean? And um, a lot of people shunned against her in that time because she would throw her body around. She would be so into the gospel, but they looked at it, looked down on her about that, but that was just her feeling it. And because she was a big curvace curvaceous woman, you know what I mean? They looked at it a little different, you know what I mean? But we can't help it when you're thick, you know what I mean? You got to watch out when I walk through. <laughs> You got to move out of my way because these hips will knock your ass over, okay? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, but that just shocked me at the end when they said sarcoid. And I'm assuming it's the same thing, but sarcoidosis is something that's really, um, they have to look for. It's very hard to detect. And, um, a lot of black people have it and they don't even know that they have it. You know, I've talked about that before. Angie Stone has it. Um, Bernie Mac passed away from that. Gerald Levert's brother had sarcoidosis. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people that suffer from that um, that you would never know. So to hear them say that, I'm assuming it's the same thing. So, you know, so me and Mahalia have more in common than just these hips. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, so y'all, um, that's what I plan on doing is this month, you know, because I have a few of these shirts from Tiffany. And again, I'll put her name here. She has some beautiful shirts um, to represent, you know, just black empowerment, you know. So make sure y'all go check her out and tell her that I sent y'all. So, yeah, I'll try to bring a little black history um, here throughout this month or something that um, I watch because that's my plan is to get more in tune with my history. You know, I'm black and I live it every day, but how in tune are we with our history? And she was a civil rights activist and, um, you know, a beautiful woman. So, yeah. So thank you, Mahalia Jackson, for everything that you have done for us. And uh, thank you to everybody that has give, given us this opportunity right now for me to even be in front of this camera because <laughs> we didn't have these privileges back then. So, you know, so thank you. So, but I'm out of here, y'all. I love y'all so much. I hope everybody has a beautiful weekend. I will see y'all Sunday. Don't forget to tune in on Saturday, my Instagram, Ketolicious underscore Ness, and come see me and my girl Mel B. Fit. We're going to be on there chopping it up about keto. I love y'all so much. And until next time, keep it keto-licious. Peace. Bye, y'all.